everybody welcome to tales from the trails and i want to welcome zach zach if you don't mind just uh introducing yourself hey drew thank you for having me uh my name is zachary banks i'm a 12 times certified salesforce architect i am currently at link logistics where i am a senior architect technology i oversee all the engineering and architecture on the salesforce platform i also happen to be a salesforce mvp user group leader and just and way too much time in the ecosystem. Awesome. Well, we'll definitely get into that, your Salesforce technology background. But I just want to acknowledge the high level because this is representative of a lot of company situations. You work for a real company that does real stuff that needs a real technologist as a part of the team to make sure that their business technology is handled uh, appropriately. Uh, if you don't mind just starting off with telling us, like, what is the business so something we say is that every business has a mission, some value that they're bringing to the world. What is the business's mission? And then we can go into your role. Yeah, so Link Logistics provides last mile delivery storage locations for our customers. A lot of our customers are actually what we call like mom and pop shops. So a okay. majority of our customer base is those smaller customers that need storage for different inventory to really enable them to do that last mile logistics delivery. And then of course we do have those big customers. I'm not saying we necessarily have these, like when you think of an Amazon or a Home Depot, right. they also have needs to store stuff in a location that can quickly be procured and delivered to customers. So our business provides space for our customers to support their customer needs. Awesome. So the image that I have in my head, and you can tell me if this is accurate, is like a a temporary storage spot where a delivery driver of some sort could put some package into it and then someone else can come scan into it. Is that an aspect of the business or do I have it right or not really? So our customers are, can use it really in different ways. I'm sure if we have uh, folks with an inventory system, like that's something they can totally do. So one good way to think about it is Link acts as a landlord for okay. commercial real estate. And so okay. we rent out our space to these customers. And there's certain uh, things they can or cannot do, of course. I'm not an expert on everything sure. they can or cannot do. But it really enables them to have the space to do what they need to do. Gotcha. One thing that I imagine about logistics is that it is a very detail oriented and operations heavy sort of business. So keeping track of everything is essentially the name of the game in logistics. Is that a fair uh, sort of assessment of the space? Yep. So one of our core values is to know your customer. And so with that, knowing our customers, there's lots of data points that are very important. So of course, uh, knowing all the people we have leases with. So a majority mm -hmm. of our business is uh, renting out and selling leases to these different um, tenants, understanding which tenant is occupying, which building, mm. who's our lease contacts, who's our tenant contacts, who's our billing contacts. Um, and with that, there's just many different operational points that people wouldn't necessarily think on the like front end of this business company. But Link recognized the need to put a significant investment to really know our customers better. Gotcha. Okay, so Link obviously has made investing in technology a priority. They've got a 12 times Salesforce certified MVP on the team. So what do you think the rationale in investing in technology is bringing you on board, putting such an investment into the technology stack through Salesforce? Yeah, Link is making it very clear they are being a trailblazer with their mm -hmm. investment and making such a large investment in their technology operations really enables them to better support their customers. We're putting money to work on ourselves to better support our customers' needs so we can start to anticipate what they need before they even come to us. Gotcha. I like how you threw in that Salesforce terminology <laughs> in your explanation. If you're going to be on Salesforce, you got to be a trailblazer. I think that's part of the requirement. 